on in, make yourself at home. Everybody's welcome at Kadoody, oh yeah. We're gonna sing and we're gonna read the word. All of it is worship when we do it for the Lord. Yeah. Clap your hands with me. Stomp your feet to the beat. Jump. I'm Kristen. I'm so glad you're here. We're in a series called Ready, Set, Go. When you run a race, it's important to get ready by exercising and training so you can make it to the finish line. The Bible says following Jesus can feel like running a race. In this series, we'll learn about some special exercises that can keep us strong in our faith as we follow Jesus. Today, our training exercise is serving. Serving means we're helping someone or doing something good for someone else. There are a lot of different ways we can serve. Now it's time to practice our big idea. That's the super important thing we're learning about today. Excuse me, but what's the big idea? The big idea is, I can love Jesus by serving. Now let's stand up and practice the big idea together. I'll say a part first and you can repeat after me. Ready? The big idea. I can love Jesus by serving. Great job, turn around. Now let's say the big idea all together in our stomping giant voices. Ready? The big idea. I can love Jesus by serving. Awesome. Turn around. Now let's say the big idea like we're a bouncing bunny. The big idea. I can love Jesus by serving. Bounce, bounce. Great job. Turn around. Now let's say the big idea one more time in our slow turtle voices. Ready? The big idea. I can love Jesus by serving. Awesome job practicing the big idea, kiddos. You can sit down. The big idea is so important, we're going to say it several times today. Whenever you see a racing flag and hear a cheering sound like this, it's time to say the big idea. Let's practice right now. The big idea. I can love Jesus by serving. Great job. Well, next we get to go on a Bible adventure. But first, we need to do one of the exercises in this jar. Let's choose one. Oh, kiddos, this says to hop on one foot five times. Can you stand up and hop with me? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Great job. Now it's time for our Bible adventure. It's time for a Bible adventure. Oh, hey, oh. Oh, hey, oh. Here we go. <laughs> the Bible is the greatest book ever. It's full of words from God. It also has true stories about people who follow Jesus. Today, we get to read a story about people in the church who served. 
Jesus' followers, called the disciples, had a very important job. They were supposed to tell everyone they could about Jesus and his love. Many people decided to follow Jesus and they became known as the church. The followers of Jesus prayed together, ate together, and learned about God together. Every single day, more and more people decided to follow Jesus. Soon, thousands of people were part of the church. It was amazing! It was wonderful that so many people decided to follow Jesus, but there was a problem. Many people were not getting enough food to eat each day. One of the disciples said to the group, What should we do? We need to keep teaching people about God, but we also need people to hand out food. We need some help. The disciples chose seven wise people to be in charge of handing out the food. That was a way they could serve others in the church. Because those seven people served, everyone had enough to eat and more people heard about Jesus. Great listening, kiddos! People in the church served Jesus by handing out food. It was a way they could help out and do something good for others. All of us can serve others too! That's our big idea sound! Can you say it with me, kiddos? The big idea! I can love Jesus by serving! Great job! Well, now it's time to practice our memory verse. But before we do, we need to choose an exercise from this jar. Let's see what we need to do. Oh, kiddos, this one says to run in place for 10 seconds. Can you stand up and run with me? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten! Great job! Now it's time to sing our memory verse song! Memory verse, memory verse You can remember the memory verse Hey, hey! Hi kiddos, I'm Kristen and this is my friend Tony. Our memory verse comes from the Bible. This one talks about how following Jesus is like running a race. It's important to keep looking to Jesus and staying faithful as we follow Him. Stand up and let's sing this song together. Hebrews 12, 1 and 2 Let us keep on running the race marked out for us. Let us keep on looking to Jesus. Turn around. This time, let's sing the song again in our super quiet whisper voices. Are you ready? Hebrews 12, 1 and 2. Let us keep on running the race marked out for us. Let us keep on looking to Jesus. He's the one who stopped. Great job, kiddos. Turn around. Now this time, let's sing the verse again in our super loud voices. Are you ready? Hebrews 12, 1 and 2. Let us keep on running the race marked out for us. Let us Good job singing our memory verse. Now let's stay standing so we can sing another song together. This one is all about serving others.
down. I know what that means. It's time to say our big idea one more time. Can you say it with me? The big idea. I can love Jesus by serving. Great job. Now it's time to try it out. But first, we need to choose one of the exercises from this jar. I'll pick one now. Ooh, this says to wiggle your whole body for five seconds. Can you do that with me, kiddos? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Awesome job, kiddos. Now let's try out what we've been learning today. Try it out. Try it out. You'll never know until you try it out. That's right! We've been learning about serving today. Now it's time to try it out. I've been spending a lot of time at the running track because I'm getting ready for a big race. The next time I see you, it's gonna be race day! Today, I'm training with my friend Darby. We're gonna race each other so we can both get better at running. Are you ready to race, Darby? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Ready, set, go. Kiddos, look, Darby fell. Oh, what should I do? If I keep running, I'm gonna win the race, but Remember our big idea today. It said, I can love Jesus by serving. Serving means helping someone else. Hmm. I think I should go back and help her kiddos. We finished, kiddos. I wasn't sure what to do when my friend Darby fell, but I think I made the right choice. By going back and helping her up, I was showing her the love of Jesus. We saw some people helping others by serving in our Bible adventure story today. The disciples were busy teaching people all about Jesus, but some people in the church weren't getting enough food. The disciples chose seven wise people to serve in the church by handing out food to the people who needed it. 
Serving is one of the special exercises we can do to keep our faith strong as we follow Jesus. Serving is a way we can help others and love them like Jesus did. So, what are some ways we can serve? Could you serve by helping your grown-ups plant or water the flowers? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up! Could you serve by helping your friend pick up toys? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up! Kiddos, could you serve by holding the door for someone to walk through? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up! Those are great ways to serve. There are lots of different ways to serve others. This week, if you see someone who needs help, stop and help them. That's a great way to serve. Well, I'm going to get back to training with my friend, but I'll see you back at the track next week. Now it's time to celebrate all we learned by standing up and going Kidawampus together. It's time for Kidawampus. Let's go, Kidawampus. It's time for Kidawampus. Let's jump around and Kidawampus. Singing it's time for Kidawampus. Let's go, Kidawampus. It's time for Kidawampus. Let's jump around and Kidawampus. Singing Kid, oh Wampus. Kid, oh Wampus. What? Kid, oh Wampus. Let's jump around and Kidawampus. It's time for Clap, Stomp, Spin. Tweet the Bird is going to hold up action signs. When you see hands, clap. When you see feet, stomp. And when you see the tornado, spin. Here we go. Hands. Feet. Tornado. Hands Tornado Feet Hands Tornado Hands Feet Tornado You rock That was a super fun Kidawampus. You can sit down because now it's time to talk to God together. We can talk to God anytime, anywhere, and about anything. Right now, let's fold our hands and close our eyes so we can focus on what we're saying to God. If you want to, you can repeat after me. Dear God, we love you. Thank you for loving us. Help us to serve others. Amen. I've had so much fun with you today, kiddos. This week, let's find a way to help someone. When we help, we're serving. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.